People always ask me what my daily routine is in the morning before training. Um, splashing water on my face. Just make sure I'm alert and awake. And also I don't want to catch any banter from my coach saying there's crust in my eye. Um, I love my, my vest, my thermals, um, you know, my dry fit stuff. Another thing that's very important to me is starting my day with God. So I would always wake up and start with a prayer. Um, some days I will, you know, start with a devotion in the morning and read my Bible. Um, I may read it before training or sometimes um, I'll read it after training. Then it's time for my morning nutrition, uh, which could be anything from a breakfast bar, breakfast biscuit. Most times would be oatmeal and yogurt, which is my favourite. I might have some fruit like grapes, apples, um, just something light and something with enough energy. That can give me enough energy to get through the morning session. Next thing to do is to get my drink for training ready, um, which is basically just water mixed in with my amino acids, which help my muscles recover during and after training. Derek's preparation for training is a well calculated one, ensuring his mind, body and soul is ready for the day ahead. We had the pleasure of Derek inviting us into his home to present to us, the community, his process. He seemed really spirited and looking forward to training, which makes sense considering what he shares to us about training. Yeah, what you'll find with Virgin is funny. Like we, we work extremely hard, but we laugh extremely hard. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's important, like yeah, a happy yeah, boxer, sure, a man. dangerous boxer, man. And I know me, my best performances come when I'm enjoying myself and I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that's with most boxers, you know what I mean? No, no boxer wants to be in camp for 12 weeks and just miserable and upset. Mm. Just, you know what I mean? Don't do that. Friday the 10th of May is fight night for Derek. And reflecting with him on his drive to training, I came across an interesting revelation. Oh, well, really, like, what's going to be so mad is that when you fight on the temp, you're yeah. actually boxing in your hometown, bro. Yeah, like, I'm actually, it's funny because, I don't know, you talk about visualisation and dreaming and stuff, mm. and I remember, like, I feel like I, I said it so many times when I was younger. Derek spent the large majority of his teenage years growing up in Woolwich, so come fight night, it will feel like a homecoming. When I first came here, I was sparring with something easy. Like, and um, obviously, with our coach, within a certain, to a certain extent, he may like put you into spar something he knows is gonna challenge you. <laughs> yeah. Because he mentally wants to see where you're at. Derek is talking my language here, especially with boxing being a sport that is heavily cited to be a mental challenge. I was looking forward to seeing how Derek's coach merges boxing with the psychological aspect. I asked Derek who is one of the toughest boxers he has sparred. Here Derek recalls sparring with now friend and light heavyweight boxer Seb Sluzark, who is approximately 10 kilos heavier. He shares a valuable lesson that has shaped his approach to boxing. Invincible, yeah, he's unbeatable. Yeah, yeah. Because at first, obviously I didn't know him when I started sparring in Florida, and then I remember just like sort of kind of becoming numb to the dangers of me like getting caught or getting hit and just kind of yeah. you're going into a mode where it's almost like dare i say you're you're, you're willing to to get down and dirty to, to do you know what i mean to to like get your shots off and then from that day i think that just changed in all my sparring do you know what i mean all my fighting yeah. spending time with derek i'm beginning to learn that he's very self-aware and very conscious of where he needs to develop he is fearless and that explains my perceptions on him in being a boxer that displays an all-out attack boxing style that I'm sure is going to suit him during this tournament come May the 10th. We arrive at DCT Boxing Academy. Dreams come true. Derek's home in training, where he's joined by his comrades. He then puts on his promoter hat and champions each one of their achievements. Early moments in my time here, and I'm already beginning to see that there's a genuine togetherness in the squad.
Oh, Derek's already done your 24 7 intro, man. <laughs> <laughs> in his own one, like. <laughs> I was talking about the first time we spied in it. Uh, yeah. yeah. After the first round and a half, like, I thought, yeah, dude, alright, you know, this guy's sick as well. What's GD here? Third or fourth round, gave me shot of fruit, but I just paid for it. I just paid for it. That's when you get killed. I just paid for it. Because you could have told me. Very much aligned to Derek's overview on the structure at DCT Academy, they know when to laugh and know when to work. The laugh and jokes come to an immediate end while they prepare for their session with Coach Barrington Brown, a former lightweight who was known during his time as D-Brown, but known to the boxers at DCT as Killer. He coaches alongside Mark Cow. Again, I'm eagerly anticipating to witness the psychological inclusions. and I'm impressed with the intensity level from not just Derek who would be at the peak of his fitness at this point but from fighters who haven't even got an official date for their next fight yet it's commendable I managed to have a sneak chat with the coach during the session Coaching their philosophy is important to an athlete, especially in an individual sport where there is more detailed information that can be passed on to the athlete. Psychologically, the coach's philosophy is embedded in the athlete, which you will see in their game. There I was thinking it was a very impressive session and was preparing to speak to some of the gents afterwards, but I soon realised that it wasn't finished and there was a lot more work to do. <laughs> Keep me going! Move them feet, Aaron, like you're jogging! Come on! Come on, man! Put them legs up, baby, they're beating the ball! Come on! 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 Oh, come on, breathe, I'm working, come on. Oh, 
Again, Delmar, known as Debo, supports the observation made on the unity. Knowing that you have a supporting network can help an athlete, especially in an individual sport, give that extra bit that could be the very difference between success and failure. Derek has very quickly become a media fascination, everyone being so intrigued by his story and we've been able to gain some insight into his mindset and his process in the lead up to May 10th. First in his way in this tournament is unbeaten boxer from Essex, Taywin Jones. Okay, so we've seen the process of Derek in the lead up to his fight on the 10th of May and um, it's been really interesting. We've seen his hard work and his dedication in the lead up to the fight. And so um, follow him, follow him on social media, see his journey and his progression to not only Friday the 10th of May, but also the rest of his career as a middleweight boxer. And so we've got a competition now um, and unfortunately I can't make it on the 10th of May. Um, I'm going to be on vacation, but what I want to do is get the opportunity for you guys, the viewers, the community, to be there for me in spirit. And so, three things I need you guys to do. So the first thing is to follow my Instagram page, and the second thing is to share the preview video that I've got of Derek. To share that and tag me in that shared, um, shared post. And then the third thing is to, to comment in the comment section and tag three people. You can tag more, but three people is the minimum. And those three things allows me to see who's going to be eligible for the competition. And the winner will be revealed on Wednesday evening. It will be live, live streamed on the Instagram page. Um, I'll confirm the time over in the next few days. And the winner should be revealed and hand delivered to you by one of the guys from the production team. So that's the competition. Three things is to, to follow the Instagram page. The second thing is to share share the preview video and tag me in it and then also to tag three people in the comment section tag three friends but yes let's trust the process together and it's going to be really exciting friday the 10th of may let's do it having comes easy as it seems even when it's tough you keep on pushing that's the concept keep your head up you keep your faith and trust the process living in my glory blessings manifesting you cannot detour me perfect imperfections tell me what's that money like if